But we do see another side to um, Eric, don't we? Because we're going on to season two over here now. There's a significant shift with his character. You see a lot more to him when we bring Godric, his maker, into play. Um, so talk me through about that shift in his character. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't see it as a shift in his character. I, th I think in season one, you don't get to know him very Jesus well. And that's that's basically it. it. All you see is Eric being, you know, the entrepreneur, the the the, the businessman, the you know, running Fantasia and dealing with all that stuff and. Uh, in season two, it's much, uh, much more personal. It's about <clears throat> someone very dear to him. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't want to give away too much, but someone very dear to him goes missing in Dallas, and Eric, Eric goes out there to find him, and and uh, you'll get to know him better, and you'll see that he does have. Because after season one, people were always like, "Oh, you're the evil vampire, the bad guy," and and. I would always have to protect and defend Eric because I was like, no, there's actually, he's, I mean, he's, I think we all have good and bad within us and we're all capable of good and, and bad things. So um, it's just in season two, you get to know him better, basically, and you'll see that he can be very loyal and, and a, very, uh, a very good friend. 